Good morning. This is a 2005 Silverlight Spirit all aluminum three horse slant horse trailer with living quarters. I will be walking through with a video live so that you can see all the things about it to help answer people's questions. Let's start with the brand new tires. Beautiful wheels. A hubcap there. They are Carlisle's and they are ST23585R16s. If that tells you anything about them. But they are brand new, brand new tread just put on. Um, we put all brand new caution tapes around the bottom everywhere. Brand new. It is acid washed. I'm on the shady side. The sun is coming up from the east and I'm on the west side of the trailer. I will walk around and show you all the outside things. Um, the windows all will have the clamp down here to drop down and I'm going to pull that down without holding because I don't want to get hit with my camera. Correction, I will have the hubby drop it down while I hold my cell phone. He's choring right now. I only have one arm because I had shoulder surgery, so one hand cannot hold the camera and open things. Um, but I can't open the bigger thing because I can hold my hand with the phone. But this is the escape door. Open it up. And there you have the inside. And there's your interior walk door going into the horse area. Now, oops, we left the lights on. Doggone it. Good thing I have it plugged in. There is a motion light. Or, yeah, there are also motion lights. And here's our table. But I'm not going to go into the trailer from here because I'm going to go around the outside first. And however, here is the bathroom from outside it on the ground. And here's your interior screen door. So you have dual screen doors for fly control. Right now the slide out is in, but you can still walk through into living quarters if you don't want to put the slide out, if you have to temporarily do something. Bathrooms, pit stops, whatever. As you can see, the ceilings are all aluminum, beautiful motion lights. We have the big drop down on the driver's side and the bus lights on the passenger side, bus windows. And they do also have screens in them. Um, I definitely turn those lights off. Um, stud divider. Um, we only took two horses to our last trail ride, so therefore we uh, put our table, extra table for outside there. But here is the inside of the horse area. It's clean and washed out. And you have the other slant here that also um, telescopes out. The rear tack is collapsible. There are your hinges, floor mats. Everything is exceptional in this trailer. There is a window with air on the back. I, When I get outside, we'll look to see if the other side has a window too. Stud Diviver has a quick release right here to get that one to open up. Stud divider wall is welded, so you can't remove that. However, all the pads and cushions for your horses are all intact and in good shape. And we're gonna go back to the outside now. Three stainless steel, no, it's two on this side. Two ties for your horses. Here is your connections. Your hot water tank, and it has a new anod rod in it. There's your refrigerator where all that venting comes out. This is your slide out, your six foot slide out on the driver's side. Nice windows, they're in layers, they crank out. Um, same way up in the nose. Here is the plate everybody keeps asking about, but you can't really read the particulars on it. Um, it's hard to see. This is aluminum also. Um, your propane tanks. Right now we have it plugged into to electrical so we can do things with it. Here's your sewer pipes, your propane bottles, um, your electric jack. You extend in and out. Um, your night light here. Woohoo! Battery box. 
electric jack and it has the levels on it. However, the Bigfoot sticker has come off, but you can see where it was. Um, the spare tire is new. Once again, this is all aluminum. You can't stick anything on it. It becomes steel when you get to this part right here that hooks up into your truck so you won't lose your trailer. All the rest is aluminum. Just this part right here is where the steel is. Okay, guys? People had questions on the weight. Hold on. I'm going to open the battery box. Oh, right next to the battery box is your switch, your mastered disconnect, so that when you're driving, it charges automatically. When you're parked, you switch it so that you will use electrical or generator if you pack a generator. There's no generator with this, however. And the battery section. Here is the marine deep cycle batteries. Here is the paperwork, which we keep here, that shows you it's a Bigfoot hydraulic, hydraulic jack. Okay, there's your paperwork. There is no key, so I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to drop it and not hit my head, hopefully. It goes down fast. I'm going to extend it back up. Okay, hubby's back from doing chores, so he's going to open a drop-down window right there. Pull to the bottom. It drops down. You pull that little wire, and that comes open. Easy peasy. Takes care of that. Okay, and also, I forgot to tell you, we always store it sitting on board so they don't get dry rot. And as with all trailers of 15 years old, you're going to see some little dimples here on the fenders from rocks or whatever. So it's not brand new. So back to recording, here's the front nose, okay? Um, now we're getting the sunny side, so be prepared for the sunlight. Um... Hubby did put this little tiny dent in here somehow. Um, doesn't leak. No leaking. Don't worry about that. There is your awning. It's brand new. Um, I'm not going to pull it out this morning because if you look at the pictures from October, I think it's the 12th, when we went camping for uh, six days and we had it out then because it was hot. So it works great. It is a manual awning. When I back up, you can see the TV antenna on top, radio antenna, the domes over the shower, the exhaust fans, air conditioner. This trailer is laid out where it's a little bit higher in the front in the nose because in the um, living quarters part, uh, all the plumbing is up underneath it so you can never drag it off. And it also makes a nice tall in the nose if you're a claustrophobic person. While well, Hubby's walking to the back so we can do the swing out saddle rack, I will show you that on this side. I think it's recording. The sun's so bright I can't see my screen. Yep. Okay, on this side is your electrical plug-ins. Works great. Um, your potable water goes in here. Your hot is... This is hot. We got to get your furnace vent. Um, the door... You have the, uh, this lights up, then you have the dual light up there, a yellow bug light or a bright white, and you can turn it off and on from the outside. Has a roller for the awning, so it won't cut the awning when you put it out. Uh, Hubby's in the back now, and he's trying to swing open the uh, saddle racks. Okay, I don't know if you need to show how it comes out, but here's how you swing out the saddle rack. We have three saddles, because... Like I said, we would trail ride. We have not unpacked it yet. Um, dumb me. We keep back here our scoop shovel, feeds, lots of hooks up there for your pooper scooper, um, your bridles. Can you go ahead and shut that, honey? He will shut that back up. And it'll lock. Gotta flip something. Did it lock? Yeah. Okay, and then on um, this door, you also, that's a bucket of feed. Also, on this door, you have a window, too, with a screen if you wanted to have air back here. 
It is a collapsible tack area, as I showed you in the beginning of this when I walked in. The door has a caddy here for your stuff. Also a uh, blanket bar. You can move that if you don't want it there. We just put it on with screws. It's a 50-50 door. He's going to open that up here now from this side. Oh, the lights are still on in there. We need to flip the switch. <laughs> Luckily, it's plugged in. Um, Anyway, so this shows you the outside, and we're going to go inside here in just a moment. I want to do that. So hubby just turned the lights off from here, because here's your switches for your saddle area or um, your interior lights, besides being motion activated. You also do have all these little locks here when you lock your doors open so the wind won't slam them in your face. He put all new LED lights everywhere. All the lights work. This is road ready. Okay, folks, it's road ready. Lost my model. The rubber is good here on the bottom. All good rubber. It's not chewed up, broke up, tore up. Nothing. Good on the walls. Good on the floors. Okay, I'll probably do the lights at nighttime to this video, but he wanted you to see that you can see the LED lights. I hope it's not too sun bright. This is on the west side in the shade right now. Here's the door open and the screen, and he's going to open that. And do... Go ahead and open it, hon. I'm going to step in here, and hopefully I don't have it too messy from our camping. I hate messes. The slide is in right now. You have a flip-up here table for extra storage. Here's all your panels for your slide-out. Is there anything on the other side? No. Okay. It's a little loud, but you know what? It works perfect. We're putting the slide out out now. Okay, I can't see with this light whether it's recording or not. Are we recording? Yeah, we are. Darn. Okay, so um, I may have to try to to try to uh, remove some video. I don't know. These are the cabinets inside the door, okay? The bright sunlight, this may not be a very good video. When you open up these cabinets, hold on for one moment. Okay, hubby's going to be the model. Going to open the door, open both doors. This is right inside where you can reach when you're outside, okay? And here is where I keep on the bottom all my string lights. In the second row, I have extra chips, fans, dishes, paper... Paper products, plastic, silverware, etc. All my junk food. And fly swatters on the door. Open the tall one. It has an automatic light. Comes on automatically when you open it for all your, your brooms and your clothes. And yes, we're going to clean it out. Extra storage here if you just want to throw your purse in there for the day. Or DVDs or something. Please, once again, be aware that it's not super clean at the moment because we haven't unpacked it. Here is a ball cap rack. Put your, your hats on and it will stay. John Wayne, brand new clock. Here's a Western hat holder. Um, you just slide your hats up there on the top. We took the smoke alarm down because it kept beeping because I need to put a new battery in. Um, this is your roof part. He's got the lights on. Um, the air conditioner is new. The inside facing is not. And yes, we had a piece of silver duct tape because we were freezing and didn't want to get out. of. We didn't know how to shut it down. We should have checked it out better. Um, Stove top, burners. Can you show the, the vent hood? On the vent hood, there's buttons on here. And this is where all your sewer electrical, your... Go ahead and push your button on it lights up. You find it? He's got gloves on. Hold on. Okay, there's fan. The next one is what? Is that the hot water light. one? Oh, that's a light over the vent. This one here is your hot water. Uh, that's your pump. Um, here's all your levels showing whether your tanks are full or empty or whatever. The levels in the tank show that that's where we put the winterization in. It's a Magic Chef microwave, really nice and new. High ceilings. 
um, cabinetry, um, sink, has a light over the sink area too. Um, plus it's got plug-ins here. Here's your sink, here's your removable cutting board. There's your porcelain sink. Um, your wall furnace controls right here and it works great. Um, we added this to be able to put the phones and charge directly here when you're camping or you throw your keys there or whatever. I can take it out or leave it. Would you like Two burner stove. Now, before I get to the bed here, I'm going to turn right around on this side to show you the lights. Hold on for one second, though. That's just a rug laying there, but I did have to move the other stuff. Here's your three windows. Aluminum blinds. Different lights. It's beautiful here. Above here are speakers. Once again, there's your hat rack to hold your two Western hats. There's your ball cap rack, okay? This is your table setup. You have a plug-in there. So if you're sitting there eating breakfast and someone's playing the iPad, you can do it. This drops down into beds, okay? Um, this is 40 inches deep, so it's nice and wide. Here is the storage, which I've got stuff in there. My tool kit, my woman tool kit and things. Um, nice floor space. You drop it down there. Here's where my camp, my grass mats, etc. are in there. Nice storage. Simply lift this up, lift the lid to get to that way if you don't want to drag it from the end. It's got a big full-size mirror. That way you can see how you look. It also makes it look bigger. And I will leave that trash can too if you want it. Okay, so in the nose area is the bed. It's a queen-size mattress. We sleep uh, sideways. We don't sleep long ways. And you can do it either way. The other owners kept it the other way. Um, this bed set is brand new, but I just saw that it's uh, dry clean only. So I'll probably replace it with something washable, but it will be brand new bedding. All those cabinets up there are deep. There's a light switches. You can have reading lights on, or if you push the other switch, when you open those deep cabinet doors, you have plenty of storage. Okay, so let's go to the TV. Right now, let me turn it on. It's brand new, and it should be able to get a local channel, but I haven't been watching TV. Right now, it's got the strap on it, too, so it doesn't fall around. We can unstrap it and move it around if you want. You can do it however you want to. Uh, I probably just need to realign my channels here because it works. Mm. Well, I just want to show them it works. Go ahead and turn it. Okay. And it's still, and I'm sorry, I didn't turn it off and I thought I did. So I got some junk in here. Anyway, um, there's your DVD player, your remote, your satellite, more plugins up there. Okay, while I'm here, though, I am going to turn around. I probably need to do some editing because I was just killing time. Up here is your stereo and your CD, DV, CD player, AM, FM. And I think it plays cassettes, too, if you still have cassettes. Once again, this is a pop-up for more storage if you want more counter space. Stove, drawers, furnace. Of course, you have to lift up so that there, that's a safety feature so the things don't go out, come out going down the road. Okay. Um, you want to be with my model and open the drawers, the drawers. Let's grab the next one too, hon. Yes, they're full. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut that one up. Um, lift it up. There you go. That's my junk drawer. There's your furnace. It works great. I added some more storage underneath here because I want to keep, you know, things like extra flashlights and fly sprays and belt buckles and things like that in there. But that's removable and I'll probably take that out. But now back to looking down the hallway. Right here is your sink. And the same with the crosses. If you don't like crosses, I will take that out. It's brand new too. I decorated it all up. Um... So anyway, here's the refrigerator. It's a brand new one. Would you like to open the refrigerator, hon? So the clasp is at the top. It's brand new. It's still got food in it. Got to take it out before it freezes. 
Um, but it is, when you look, it's a Norcold, all right? I don't know if this is video focusing very well, but you would tell it LP or on or off or AC or DC. It has it all right there. Let me try to get a little closer up to it. Oh, it must have something on my lens. It's not, or else it's just cold. Open it. Has a freezer compartment. Hubby's trying to open that up. There we go. Maybe I had it too zoomed in. And let's go ahead and look up here. It's Norcold. I only got one arm, so it's hard to make it focus. And it's AC, LP, and DC. And it tells you the coldest and the warmest. And there's your temperature set, your mode, and your on and off buttons. Brand new refrigerator. And below this <coughs> awesome refrigerator is more drawers. Can you open one of those drawers? This is where I got my bath towels and stuff. And he opened it right up. And there's where I keep bath towels. I like storage and I really like the drawers. Here is your uh, monitor for if you're getting gassed. Carbon monoxide, that's the proper words, okay? Sorry about that, guys. Um, it is cold, it is outside. But also, here is your, your switch, your battery panel below the refrigerator. And here's more plug ins here. I've already done the back side, huh? I know, I'm just getting out of the way. Okay. So, anyway. Bathroom, that million dollar toilet paper roll will, will probably go with us. Um, brand new, and there's a nice picture you can take off the wall or leave it there. Um, the stool, the shower, it's got one of those little sliding. Here's your way to open and, and shut it. Um, we did add that rack for our soap and shampoo so we wouldn't have to bend over. Shower works great. Folding by folding door, so you have privacy in your bathroom. There is a skylight over the shower. There is lights here. Oh, I guess this is also. Here's your switches. Here is your fan on and off, your vent open and closed, and your lights on and off. Okay. Um, a rack to hang your towels on. There's your lights. There's your other fancy uh, fan up on top. Your medicine cabinet. I didn't really get a picture. And then, of course, I got to get all my stuff out of it. Another plug in here. This is Velcroed down. So if you don't want that there, I just had for extra stuff. You put towels, wash rags there. Um, once again, that, mirror, that picture can come down. Um, this storage, I just put extra junk up in there. My coffee pot. When we're traveling, as you see, it doesn't move. Extra shampoos. There's no door here. This is next to your refrigerator. And then down below, this is storage also, and where I keep the extra toilet paper, Walmart bags, and just stuff in general. We all have those stuff in general places. Love the screen door because of the fact that you can open both doors. Works great. Open both doors. And no flies. If you don't want to run a generator, if you just want fresh air wherever you're camping at. I will show you, if I can get around here, because I didn't show you earlier, it's, it is built up about 12 inches, and that's why all your tanks are up high and level with the base of the trailer. Therefore, you can't knock them off on a high spot, drag them off, etc. This is a great setup. Silverlight made wonderful trailers. They were in business from 2005 to 2010, where the market plunged in, they quit making them. I do have the ma original manual somewhere. Um, I just need to go find it somewhere in my office. And like I said, once again, all the lights work. It's road ready. Um, we made sure everything worked. Plumbing, no leaks. Everything's winterized. Um, you can hear the fan running. Go ahead and turn your fan on. I know the vent's not, but go ahead and turn your fan on. So you have a fan in there. It works. Okay. This is a long video. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. Um, the floors are beautiful. Love the furnace. We go to bed when it's hot, have it on too much, the air conditioner. Then we woke up freezing, so we had to turn the furnace on. So I know they both work. Those are built-in steps to be able to get up into your nose. Um, but like I said, oh, this is just an extra basket, which never falls off when we're driving for some reason. It sits there good. And I put this extra because of, once again... You know, belt buckles, other little things you need on the trail. You don't need it. It's old. 
Um, I put my VC DVDs in there also. But that can go in this storage if you prefer to each his own. But like I said, all the blinds are silver and they're aluminum. There's your crank to readjust your antenna on top. However, the TV, you just do the setup and scan. It'll pick up all your local channels. Um, and a minute ago when I had it on, it was a little fuzzy because of the fact that we had it set up for where we were camping yet. And I haven't had the TV on since we've been home. And the TV is a scepter and it's new. Um, oh, yeah. So the skylight in the bed area, I always forget some of the things it's got. It does have a pop-up vent. So if you want night air up there instead of air conditioning. Some people prefer the fresh air. Some people prefer air conditioning. My hubby has uh, lots of allergies and can't take in night air because of his lungs. And so therefore we've never opened it. Um, he's playing with all the fans. He's like a little kid. He's playing with stuff. John, brand new John Wayne clock. I love that for the hats. Lots of speakers. Once again, it's beautiful. It's big. Oh, he's got the furnace on now. That's what he was playing with. You just turn your thermostat and heat comes right on. He's cold, so he's turned it on because it's cold out here this morning. Um, can't say enough good things about this trailer. It's awesome. We simply sold our four horse to buy, and we wanted a three horse. I bought this one day when we found it after lengthy search. Many states, six states, I think we went into. And then, so we bought this. We loved it. Put my four horse Lakota out there. It sold it the next day as soon as I put it out there. Within 30 minutes, I think. The first people said they wanted to come. They came. They bought. Okay. And so then the following day, he was playing on the internet again. And we found the 2016 Lakota three horse. And I will make a video on it also. They're both for sale. This one is $25,000. Um, don't think we're negotiable. No. No, nope, we're not negotiable. Okay. Go ahead and turn your light back on because I'm the outside lights making it dark in here. Just little switches there. Um, and that's my bag of towels. I'm trying to start packing this up. So you can see out anywhere. So where you're camping, you can see if your horses are tied here or here or here. This is just awesome. Awesome, awesome. I will make a second video on the 2016 Lakota Charger Edition Three Horse Slant because we bought it two and we only need one trailer. So, and it is $35,000 and the first trailer is sold, which means that the other one we will be keeping because I love them both. It's a 30 minute video. So he's bringing the slide out in. So I'm picking up stuff so you don't get hung up with it, okay? Always remember that. And don't worry about, oh, and then up here under the mattress this is where I keep the this is the crank it's just a spare crank should you ever get in a situation maybe you don't have enough power and your awning can't come in crank it no problem i like that safety feature so sometimes we get out in the boonies um up underneath here also is whoops hold on him also is where i keep the awning hook which is under the bed he's trying to bring it in on me did i tell you i'm a storyteller Okay, so you put the light back down, and so I, I forgot to tell you, there's the fire extinguisher. There's a little bit of damage right there if you look real hard from, I think someone just left the door open, previous owners, and it got a little rain in on it right there. Because you can see a little sun fade on the cabinets if you look real hard. They can be refaced, or you can redo it if you want. Um, taking this, my granddaughter gave it to me. Do have the running boards out here, so when I grab hold of the handle to step down, because right now it's jacked up at a slant, so you know, because of rain and water and stuff. Um, has no leaks that we're aware of. We haven't found any, so now he's bringing the rest way in. Yep, see, there's your little cranker that was turning right there. So if you ever get to a point where you don't have power, you can crank in that side, okay? Hubby is getting the tape measure, and we will tape it out for those that don't believe it's truly this size. Okay. Has so much. Well, I Did I get the slide out from this side, what it looks like? Yep. Here's the tape from the back. So you're going to okay. stand right there, and I'll walk. What does it say? It says 7-6. So it's 7-6 wide. 
not including the fenders. So it's probably eight wide when you include the fenders. I mean, if you want to know total width, okay? So now we're going to go from this end to the front of the box. And just tighten it up. There you go. Tighten her up. It's just, how much? 23. It's 23 foot long. Okay, I was wrong on that. Living quarters start right here. This is a short wall, so crank that up. Because this is your walk door, so right here is where your, there's your zero. What's your short wall? 9, 11. I'd call it 10 foot. Okay, it's 10 foot short wall, not 11. 10 foot short wall. Okay. Foot. Um, so... That means if it's 10 foot short wall, then it is 23. You've got 13 feet for your horses. So it must be about four inches wide or whatever, four, four feet wide. Okay, so we went from here. What are we doing here? Oh, to the nose, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go right here from the living quarters to the nose. And with the nose end, it is. We're old. Eight foot four. Eight foot four inches is the nose. Okay, folks. Um, I hope this answers all your questions. When we can get it to an elevator somewhere, we can have it uh, weighed. But right now the harvests are going on, so I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, oh, yeah, I see there's a little dinghy right there, too, I didn't say. But that's on your running board, and that just needs to be popped out. Um, this is your coax if you want to do something different. Um, don't know why, because on the inside everything works. Of course, there's your box, um, new anod rod. We were plant. This was a forever trailer, so everything works and is great on it.